Hi, today I'm going to make fuchsia double. A really pretty flower. It looks like skirts, frilled skirts. Materials required are crepe papers in green. I have taken purple and orange, thin wire, a thick wire, some green floral tape, some small pips matching the color of uh, like sepals and a long pip, the same color and some tissue paper. The stencils and measurements are given at the end of video. Now take the thin wire and measure about 26 centimeters on the scale and cut it out then take these uh, tips the smaller ones collect them all together at the same height Like this and the big pip hold them all together bend the thin wire in the center and tie it on top of the pips then twist the wire So you get a bunch like this. So you have a bunch of 8 small pips and one long pip. Take the 13 petals. So I'll just take one and then hold it in the center and stretch the center. So you get a cupped effect like this. Now apply glue on the stem. And just stick it on the pips on the wire the wire where you tied it just press it till it sticks and take the second one apply glue on it again and stick it overlapping the first one And slightly out so let's stick it like this at the same height then the third petal so again overlapping a bit of the second and going around the fourth on top of the third floor overlapping the third petal so it looks like this for the next layer of petals, apply glue. Now before putting it on the flower, just fold one side of the petal and then stick it. Like this. Then Take this and stick this on the opposite side. So I've just applied glue.
like this and next one again you can fold this for sticking and this one again on the opposite side so you have two upside down and two folded the idea being when you stick the last whirl of petals they lift up and you will have that you know that skirt that frilled skirt look so now we stick this as we did the first four petals in the same manner so stick them overlapping the previous one and this is how the flower would look Now take the sepals and with the help of scissors just curl them like so. Apply glue on the stem and stick this on top of the flower. like this take the second sepal apply glue and stick this at 90 degrees to the first one so you have to stick all the four sepals forming a kind of a cross when looking from top all at 90 degrees to each other like that This is how the sepals would look. Now take the small uh, rectangular piece, stretch it, apply glue all over the piece and stick this on top of the sepals. and twist the end like this now take some green tape stretch it now I need to apply glue on the green tip here because I need to stick this a lot so then just leaving about a centimeter from the edge of the sepals start binding this so first just wrap the green tape on itself without going up the wire make it slightly thick and then just wind it on the wire Now here at the base of the green tape where you had wound it a couple of times just press it with your nail so you get a kind of an indent like 
like so and this is how the flower would look now from the floral tape take out a long piece stretch it take the thick wire and a small leaf hold it on the thick wire and then start winding the tape on it then leave a gap of about 1 inch and take another leaf make one round put the other leaf and then take one bud so you hold the leaf and the bud together if you want put another bud then make a gap of about 2 inches take a bigger leaf hold that and hold a flower make one circle to hold it in place then take another flower and the second big leaf whirl it round now you can add as many leaves and as many flowers that you like it's a time entirely up to you so i'll just add another leaf and then wind the tape till the end of the wire Now open up the leaves. Just bend them out. And pull the flowers down in one direction. So they basically droop downwards. I'm just going to position them like this. And then drop down the buds too. And this is how your fuchsia would look. For the leaf. first put a thin wire on it and measure out how long you want on the leaf and take about 3 cm more of the wire cut it out then take some floral tape and wrap it on the leaf first stretch it just put it on the wire and wrap it like this then apply glue on the leaf stick the wire on it and just wrap the stem around the wire like this and let it dry first now while it's drying i've already stuck a leaf with wire so now just screw score lines on it 
just coat veins on it like this now from the floral tape take out a long piece stretch it take the thick wire and a small leaf hold it on the thick wire and then start winding the tape on it then leave a gap of about 1 inch and take another leaf make one round put the other leaf and then take one bud so you hold the leaf and the bud together if you want put another bud then make a gap of about 2 inches take a bigger leaf hold that and hold a flower make one circle to hold it in place then take another flower and the second big leaf whirl it round now you can add as many leaves and as many flowers that you like once it is entirely up to you so i'll just add another leaf and then wind the tape till the end of the wire Now open up the leaves, just bend them out, and pull the flowers down in one direction. So they basically droop downwards. I'm just going to position them like this. then drop down the buds too and this is how your fuchsia would look all the measurements are in centimeter this is a stencil of the bud which is 4 cm by 4 cm cut as many as liked this is a stencil of the petal this is 4 cm high and the width is 2.2 cm the width the length of the petal is 2.5 cm cut 13 pieces per flower this is of the sepal which is 5 cm high and 1.75 cm wide cut 4 pieces per flower this is of the base this is 1.5 by 2 cm cut 1 piece per flower these are the stencils of the leaves the smaller leaf is 5 cm by 1.5 cm and the bigger leaf is 6.5 cm by 2.5 cm the stem is 1 cm by 1 cm in both cut as many leaves as liked